May 25th, 2016, a pretty important day for the fishermen, residents, and visitors in and around the quiet seaside community of South Bristol, Maine. For nearly two years, bridge builders from the Maine Department of Transportation and Chinbro have been looking forward to the day, the deadline for putting traffic over a brand new single leaf bascule bridge and for putting fishing boats beneath the movable span. The new structure replaces an old swing bridge that was built in the 1920s, a span that had become unreliable with age. It was obviously reaching the end of its lifespan. It was starting to become a maintenance issue. There were times when they would open up and the machinery was getting so worn out that it would either skip a gear or jump off its track and become open. There were just numerous issues that would either cause the bridge to be stuck in the open position or closed position. Both of them caused a problem for either a vehicle commuter or someone on a boat that wants to get through the channel. We started in September 8th of 2014. We started with what we called our season one, which was basically a prep time. We did all the work around the existing bridge that we could without interrupting the existing bridge. We weren't allowed to shut down the channel to boat traffic until October of 2015. Once we shut down the channel to boat traffic, the state of Maine gave us 213 days to demo the existing bridge, build a temporary bridge, build a new bridge, and then demo the temporary bridge. The crews have worked round the clock. Um, ever since January 1st of 2016, we've worked seven days a week, 24 hours a day, uh, to maintain the schedule and get the project done on time. Among the most daunting challenges faced by the crews on site was the extremely confined spaces that the team had to work in. In some cases, the crews were building structures within inches of existing homes and striving to do so without creating any disturbances for the townsfolk. Over time, a bond formed between the hardworking team members and the patient citizens of South Bristol. Everyone was aware of the importance of the new bridge to the people of the area. It's a very active fishing port. There's lobstermen, bait fishermen, people are going out scalloping and it's a major economic push in the area to get out there and fish these waters and for the fishermen to have to deal with a bridge that wasn't working properly on a regular basis causes them to go around the island. They've been having to drive their boats around Rutherford Island to get to either the fishing grounds or back to the co-ops to sell their products and that's an extra 15 to 20 minutes from what I've heard from them and that's just like an, it's an added fuel cost and cuts into their way of life. This area, it's, it's very active with the fishermen, but it's very active with the tourists. So the fact that we now will have a bridge that works properly, it can open and close quickly and reliably will allow both vehicular traffic and marine traffic to flow freely, which will really benefit everybody. The people will be able to get to and from the area quicker than they usually do, and also allow the boats a little bit shorter of a commute through. We have a number of local town folk that come watch the project daily. Everyone's complimentary of the way Chimbro works and how the crews act. It's a very small community, and everyone enjoys the Chimbro team members that are here. Everyone talks very highly of them, and they like the way we do business. So one of the things that we've actually been told uh, quite a few times is how neat and organized the site is for being such a small site. A lot of the local people too have made mention that the crew's been working seven days a week, 24 hours a day since January. So that's through the coldest times here in Maine. And uh, a lot of the local folk were very surprised that we'll work in that type of weather. And uh, they're very complimentary of the guys and girls for being out here and actually sticking through it and getting the work done in some of the extreme weather we've been having. There's some very long hours, regardless of the weather. And there's only so many guys you can put in this one spot. Yeah, we, we need more help, but you gotta be able to plan it out and put the guys where you need them, spread them out the best you can. There's a lot to it. We had a really good crew. We got a really strong crew, capable, and they understand our time constraints and what we have to do in our time frames. They've done real well with it. You work your way through it, and See what you can do to resolve any issues we have at the moment. Keep going forward. We can see the end of it from, from where we're at now. We've been almost two years getting here. And it'll be good to see this thing functional and on our way. Everyone on the job site believes the reaction will be positive indeed when the bridge builders turn over the new span to the community. Another Chinbro job completed on time and with quality built into every square inch. Trinbro has such a reputation down here with movable structures. I've heard it from our consultant engineers that they've worked with Trinbro before and have quite a bit of confidence in them when it comes to these complex structures. And 
I think it's shown throughout the project some of the engineering that's come through for some of these temporary structures, our coffer dams, and just some, some solutions to working in these tight areas has uh, really impressed me. So that's been a, a big impression on me that the size of the company and the knowledge base is just very vast and it's pretty impressive. I think things have gone real well. It definitely hasn't been easy. We've put in very long hours. It hasn't been easy for anybody, but I think now that we're getting to this point where we're wrapping things up, that all the hard work starting to come to fruition and it's kind of nice to see things that we did last year or, or the year before start to come into play and knowing that everything's lining up properly and it just gives everybody a nice sense of relief that all this work we've been doing is finally coming together.